Wyatt Wine Drinkers rejoice. The second annual Wine on the Wabash of the season is kicking off this weekend. You're taking a look at video now from a previous Wine on the Wabash. Next one coming up this Saturday at Fairbanks Park. Yeah, you We're can so enjoy excited. all kinds yeah, of good yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, joining us live in studio today to talk about the upcoming event is Bailey Halberstadt with yeah. High 99. Good morning. Hello. Thanks for joining us dark and early. Yes, yeah, it was a little tough getting here, but you know. You know what? We made it. It's all that matters. <laughs> all right, so if anyone maybe who is not familiar with Wine on the Wabash, maybe you're living under a rock, I'm not sure. Exactly. Can you give us an idea of what you can expect? Yeah, so we've been doing this for about four years now, and it's an event we do out at Fairbanks Park. Uh, music, food, wine, um, and it, we did one earlier this year, uh, a little bit different of a musical lineup, but this one going to be a little more rock and roll. Uh, so if that's your vibe, then this is going to be the one for you. Good deal. Well, let's talk about the differences because you know, we did have one recently, yeah. and uh, this is going to be the second one of the season. What are What's going to be different about this one? Yeah, so a lot of the same stuff going to be there, you know, food, great wine, all of that, but the music is going to be the, the big change. So uh, we're going to have Hairbangers Ball uh, as the headliner, so 80s rock music. If nice. that's what your kind of vibe is, it's going to be so much fun. Also, Mullet Over. Everybody loves Mullet Over in town. Uh, they're going to be kind of our middle uh, folks. And then Tommy Kelly Band, who is just making the rounds. Everybody loves Tommy Kelly. So um, kind of an, a little bit of a different vibe, but still family friendly. Again, kids are welcome to come out too. So we're looking forward to everybody. And I was going to say, the last Wine on the Wabash I went to, it was the turnout was spectacular. Yes. It was uh -huh. insane. So what made you guys decide to break it up into two? Have you always done that? Or was it because it was yeah. just so overloaded well, on the first we did. one? We tried three and then that seemed to be a little bit much so we went back to two uh, we kind of been trying to like bookend it so like at the beginning of the summer at the end of the summer so you have something to kind of kick off the fun summer season and then to wrap it up you know kids are back in school now maybe you need a little bit of a, an escape <laughs> <laughs> to, you know go out for the weekend it's stressful you know <laughs> oh yeah I yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, well, you're, yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. No, uh, talking about uh, the event and the attendance, why is uh, a, an event like this with all these people so important to our community? Well, you know, it's it's something to look forward to, right? It's something that, uh, you know, engages the community, and um, we're going to have some some of our vendors out there, too. So, you know, the, from the business aspect, that gives people the opportunity to engage and just go out and enjoy themselves, a really fun, uh, unique event that we're hoping becomes a bit of a tradition for folks in the in the area that is so great yeah. and everyone's welcome even the kiddos Absolutely. right I mean, you might well, hey, right. that's up to you what you want to do but <laughs> yeah they're welcome so kids 12 and under are free but if you happen to be older than 12 years old unfortunately you do have to pay so it's 10 bucks at Baszler's that's gonna be your cheapest ticket you can buy those in advance there uh, or you can go to any of our station websites high99.com www.com um, and buy those tickets online or if you want to wait till the day of the show kind of wait to see what the weather's gonna going to be like, see what Julie has to say about that. You can go uh, and buy them the day of the show at the gate. I was going to say my team. biggest mistake back in June was I didn't bring a lawn chair and yeah. you're going to want or something to sit on. Yeah, <laughs> a lawn chair, a blanket, whatever you're comfortable with. I mean, there is the seating right. there at Fairbanks but it fills Park. Up. It filled up quick. It did. And you know what? For the first time ever, we had people um, come early because it was so hot in June mm -hmm. and kind of filled out the um, the shaded area where the, uh, you know, the trees were. So, uh, you know, but they brought their lawn chairs so would recommend but you don't have to you can just walk around and vibe too good deal all, all right. right well thanks so much for joining us this morning absolutely thank you guys for having me well